Hello, and this is Samantha here from Recipe This and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to slow cook your favorite lamb chops. Before we share this amazing recipe with you, we recommend that you head over to RecipeThis.com. At the top of the site is a search bar and you can search for any of our recipes that are featured on our YouTube channel. So this makes it really easy. So if you see one of our videos and you want step-by-step -step photos or a free printable recipe card, then that search box is amazing. And then if you scroll down below that, you'll be able to see our categories. And what you can do is, let's say you've got an Instant Pot, you can click on the link just for Instant Pot recipes. The same for the air fryer, slow cooker, soup maker, Thermomix, or whichever recipe you've got. And best of all, I highly recommend you enter your email address and sign up for our weekly newsletter. In our weekly newsletter, we feature all our latest recipes, as long as tips, tricks, popular previous recipes and so much more and we just really really would like it if you join and then when you do join you can reply to any of our newsletters and you'll get direct email response from me or my husband Dominic and it's just brilliant you can also look through the archives of our entire site so let's say you're looking for Christmas ideas, then you can look at December of the previous year or the year before that for some great ideas, search through our categories and do so much more. We've got 1400 plus kitchen gadget recipes on Recipe This and I just cannot wait to see you over there and welcome you to the Recipe This family. So for the lamb chops ingredients for your slow cooker, I've got a good quantity of lamb chops here and I've got some salt and pepper, some chopped garlic, rosemary and thyme, an onion and some honey. So these all add great flavour to the lamb chops. So I recommend you start by marinating the lamb chops in the fridge for at least an hour, but you don't have to if you don't want to. If you press for time and just want the slow cooker on, then it's fine not to. So, Check out these lamb chops, these look fabulous. Um, they're all from my local butcher Smiths. And he always does a fantastic job. Wow, these lamb chops really do look amazing. I mean, check those out, don't they look fabulous? So then once you've got the lamb chops in there, I'm just going to grab my hands. And then add in some red wine. I've used a cup, which is about 240 ml. And then also some dried rosemary. Some dried thyme. Some salt. a good bit of salt on my lamb chops, some pepper, some chopped garlic. What I do is I buy the bags of frozen chopped garlic from the supermarket and this one because I was using it I knew I was going to use it all up today. It's, I've allowed it to defrost but you can put it in from frozen as well. And then once you've done that, a little bit of oil and then also you can add in some honey as well a little bit of honey and then i want you now this is going to be really really sticky because of the honey let's give it a good mix in the bowl it's so that you haven't just got all the herbs just on one bit of lamb chop at the top and then I always give the lamps a bit of a rub so that it can spread out, especially the honey, because otherwise it just ends up all over one chop. And then once you're happy with it like that, um, you can leave it to marinade uh, for about an hour, or you could marinate it overnight if you're planning on getting the slow cooker on early in the day. 
So now, once the lamb's had a chance to marinate, what you can do is you can open up your soap cooker and you can dump it all in. And I'll give that a scrape in a minute because it's still got some of the bits from the bottom. And then you want to get your onion on. The onion doesn't have to be perfect. You're just using it so that it's going to add lovely flavour to your slow cooker. And you can saute the onion first. Um, like we do if you check out our recipe on recipethis.com for slow cooker uh, lamb chops you'll see that we've sauteed the onion but we're in a rush today for dinner so I just wanted to get it on. And then once you've got your onion in there then the next step is to get the rest of your marinade in. So what I've got, I've got, I've got this brilliant uh, wooden spoon uh, that's made of silicone so it doesn't scratch the slow cooker. And you can just load everything in like that. Give it a good stir. Want to make sure the lamb's all got a bit of the juice from the red wine on it want to spread them all out like that and then the next stage in this recipe is of course the mushrooms so you can have them whole if you prefer or you can half them it's totally up to you and then just find some gaps or on top for your mushrooms and then you can use whole pack of mushrooms if you don't like mushrooms of course you don't have to add them and then the last mushroom and then as you can see you've got a lovely outer edge of your mushrooms there all your lambs in all your red wines in and now it's ready for your slow cooker to go on so you want it on high for about four hours and then you can come back and decide what sides to have with it so now let's check on those lamb chops. Oh wow, the mushrooms look fantastic in here, if mushrooms are your thing of course. And let's check on one of these lamb chops, shall we? Wish I can get my tongs in. Wow, still in the lovely delicious red wine, onions, honey, oh so lovely. Let me show you it close up and then transfer it to a plate. Let's see if I can find another good one. Not that they're not all good, but. And then of course, you can grab yourself some mushrooms out of there as well. So there, you've got your lamb chops and your mushrooms for dinner. And then best of all, I also did some Ninja Foodie roast potatoes. So now you can grab some roast potatoes to go with it as well. Still a lot of lamb chops sat there in the slow cooker so you could easily feed four people on this portion and also the roast potatoes portion I've got I've still got plenty of those left as well so it's perfect uh, for a Sunday dinner thanks to the uh, slow cooker and the ninja foodie thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the recipe this family you can find us on Twitter Facebook and Pinterest we also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 